Hello and welcome. This is your Funky Honky with Let's Play Jade Empire Special Edition, episode 58. And this one, we're going to push the tiger button. And we got the Song of the Spirit and lost the configuration of the horse. Excellent. What an amazing machine. Now, if we can find more configurations, just imagine what we could do here. I want to try that again. That same one? But why not try something different? It's up to you, of course. Hmm. That's probably a hint. Better not try it again, even though we've got the other cow bezoar. Well, we only have one other configuration. The uh, configuration of the... What was it we picked up? The configuration of the ox. Let's see what we've got there. The strange schematic has had better days, the paper ragged at the corners, while the page is filled with doodle diagrams, including one for a device that seems designated to colorize rice for easy sorting, the majority of the space is taken up by a single notation. Foul-smelling water must be purified of the taint of a rotted egg. Only the water wheel and the applauding stack can manage it, even then only with the dragon's help. Well, we don't seem to have any foul-smelling water on us, so I guess it's just time to head back. Oh, but while well, I've got it open, let's see what the note from Princess Leon has to say. Carefully folded piece of paper given to you by Princess Leon. The note reads, Meet me in the pavilion at the entrance to the Scholar's Garden. Well, I guess that's where we should head next now. All right, Kang. Get us out of here. A most intriguing place. I'm ready to leave this place. Very well. In the meantime... I will try to see if I can learn anything more about this interesting machine. I can always bring us back here later. So sweet. I'd say that was a successful excursion. Oh, goody. And you get to see the biggest glitch of this game. You can't see anything that's going on. And you can't see anything around you except for the floor directly underneath your feet. The only way to remedy it... Thank God for the mini-map, right? Ah, where's the damn door? Well, unfortunately, the easiest way to remedy it, you can either walk through a different door that leads to a different area, like this one right here. Come on, come on. You can do this. Can't you not? There we go. Almost there. Almost there. And go into the Imperial Arena. Okay, so now it should be fixed. The other way that you can fix it is by just saving and loading. But I didn't want to do that while recording. No, what do we got going on here? That's why my men brought you to me. I wanted to finish this personally. But I... Don't even try to make this better. You should have won that fight, Zhang, but you suddenly developed that blind spot, didn't you? Did the glint of silver get in your eye? Joe, honestly, I... Smack! You needed something for to witten it, one? Yes, I need to speak with you in private. It seems Warrior Zhang has decided to retire. I'm finished here. If you're here to fight, do what they tell you. Step away from me, mongrel. Your weakness disgusts me. You think you're tough enough for the Imperial Arena, do you? Well, why not prove it? I'll never be allowed to fight in here again, that's for sure. Guess my spot in the roster is yours if you want it. Go find Kui the promoter if you think you can fill my shoes. He's always upstairs in the third room over or so, and looking for new blood. I'm taking what I have left from my winnings and leaving. Hmm, an arena, huh? Well, we're not going to be doing that for a little while, but I am going to go run over here to read this. Imperial Champions. Here, I'll even scroll to the bottom so you can pause and read it all if you want. Okay, and yeah, we're just going to we're going to save this for later. Oh, but before I forget, the technique that we got from uh, completing the configuration. The Song of the Spirit, plus five to Spirit. Simple, huh? So now, 
My body is the only one that's uh, not jacked up, but I'm sure that that'll be repaired in time. So anyway, see, everything's fixed. I can see where I'm going now. So let's head over to the Scholar's Garden, shall we, to meet up with, um, with the princess, a.k.a. Silk Fox. Oh, we got a book here. Let's read it. History of Flight, Volume 4. Up, oh, and we leveled. So let's go ahead and take care of that now. Boom, boom, boom. 14 style points. Alrighty. Now, in case you've been wondering why I haven't been putting points into Toad Demon, I will tell you this. There's no point. I will be getting a much, much better transformation style later on, and I'm going to be saving points for it. So that is why Toad Demon is staying at the very bottom. It's good enough for now, for when I desperately need to transform, but aside from that, it's not really that great, but it's better than the horse demon. So anyways, I think we are going to put these 14 points into our Dragon Sword. So we've been using it a lot. We're going to continue using it a lot, I'd imagine. Oh, increase the damage. Uh, increase focus cost reduction. Okay, we still got four points left. Let's see if we can't spend it somewhere. Well, not here. Not Ice Shard. Ooh, wait, no. Tempest. Let's spend it on Tempest. Yeah, lower the chi cost. Sweet. Okay, so that's all 14 points. Let's go this way. Oh, another book. The Guide to the Imperial City. That didn't guide me at all, but it gave me 1,364 experience points. See why the uh, Scholar's Gem, or Frail Scholar's Gem, whatever, is so useful. All right, so here we are. What do we got over here? Well, we got something to read. Hold on there. What? This way leads into the necropolis, a dangerous area. You shouldn't go in there unless you have some business there. My business is where I make it. Yes, but I must warn you, the dead aren't the only terrifying things in the necropolis. They say the Lotus Assassins have a special interest in the place. I have nothing more to say on that subject, and you certainly didn't hear that rumor from me. Thanks for the warning. If you're still going in there, just watch your back. I wasn't. I was just going to read the sign. Oh, to the necropolis. That was useful. Okay, so let's run around and see. Oh, uh, we can got a jar here. Break that. Scholar's Gem of Forethought. That's nice. Wait, what? Did you hear that? <clears throat> your parentage is below average, and your ancestry is of questionable worth. You dress yourself in the manner of a common laborer. Nobody's paying any attention. Keep trying, just as I instructed. What? Your physique seems exceptional. Clearly you are a peasant. A noble could afford sloth. What is going on here? Answer me. Your breath is like the wind of an ox. Your last meal was of suspect quality. I am warning you. I demand respect. Your beliefs are superficial, and your culture is substandard. That's it. I'll put an end to your pointless heckling. Hold! You must forgive my servant. He was acting for me. I asked him to find someone not distracted by mere insults. Someone who would command respect. I must say, your refusal to stand for it was admirable. I think you are exactly what we need. If you were behind this, then I owe you a beating. Please, my intent is noble. An outlander arrived several days ago, and now we cannot get him to leave. He's consuming copious amounts of our food and wine. He balks at our attempts to calm him, and answers requests for payment with strange coins of questionable value. He needs to go. Where did this man come from? He claims he crossed the Glass Sea which would mean he's from the mysterious East. I've heard reports of minor trade with that region, but only on a small scale. Nice clipping. Even if they buy the occasional bolt of silk, everyone knows there are only barbarians outside the Jade Empire, and his manner confirms it. He insults the Emperor. 
So far, he has escaped the notice of any higher officials. Perhaps he was mistaken for an actor in a troupe, but that will not last. If he is reported, the Lotus Assassins will take notice. They'll want to know if he was harbored or his offense was encouraged. Guilt by association is enough for them. Should I just kill him outright? Uh, we don't want a murder. We just want order restored. But he doesn't respond like we do. He proposes challenges we don't understand and then declares himself the winner. Several of our brightest have faced him, but as soon as they get the better of him, he sets off his strange firework and says they are beaten. Normally, the peasants... Okay, running out of time. Normally, the peasants... If that's all I'll gain, then my answer is no. I had hoped you... Yeah, yep. Yeah. Alright, this has been your Funky Onky with Let's Play Jade Empire Special Edition. Stay tuned for episode 59, and I hope that you will see me then. <laughs>